Have you ever wondered how the water at the beach feels warm at the surface but gets colder and colder as you go? Did you ever notice how the ocean in one part of the world is colder than the other? Did you know ocean currents decide what regions will have warmer winters and cooler summers than inland? Ocean currents. So what effects do ocean currents have on the world? There are two types of ocean currents, warm currents and cold currents. Warm currents are near the surface of the water and cold currents are at the bottom of the ocean. The currents flow close to the edges of the continents. The temperature of the current decides what temperature seasons the region will have, warm winters or cold summers. How quickly do currents move? Ocean currents have different speeds based on where they are. The cold and warm currents blend into each other to distribute cold water to warm areas of the world and warm water to cold areas of the world. Currents on the west side of the earth tend to be narrow and fast moving. Currents on the east side of the earth tend to be wider and slower. How quickly do currents move? Ocean currents have different speeds based on where they are. What causes ocean currents to occur? Prevailing winds, convection currents, winds across the ocean, the influence of the earth's rotation, continental shapes, heat capacities of water, air pressure, and the amount of salt in oceans. Let's talk about some of these causes. Heat capacities of water. Water has a high capacity to store heat. Oceans take a long time to heat up and a long time to cool down again. Because water takes a long time to reheat after winter, the warm months get pushed back in the year. Same thing goes for the cooling down and the colder months. The amount of salt in the oceans. Gulf Stream runs up north and as it does this, the water evaporates, leaving saltier water. The saltier water sinks, creating deep water currents. These deep water currents get replaced with less dense water currents. Convection current. The equator gets hit with the most intense and most amounts of solar energy. This causes convection currents to occur. Prevailing winds. First of all, a prevailing wind is the wind that is most blown across a particular region. In southern Asia, the prevailing winds are northeasterly, but in the summer, there is a bigger low pressure system. This makes the winds in this area reverse, creating the southwest monsoons, which brings a long wet season to the subcontinent of Asia and Southeast Asia, with results like this. Air pressure. Ocean currents affect the air pressure above them. Warm ocean currents create low density and warm air, causing low pressure systems. Cold ocean currents create high density and cold air, causing high pressure systems. Warm bodies of air can hold more moisture, giving these regions more precipitation. Cold bodies of air mean dry, cold weather in these regions. There is a greater amount of water at the equator than the land because the equator is where the heat from the sun rays gets radiated. There are warm currents around the equator. Ocean currents change direction, pushing warm water from the equator to the poles and vice versa. Ocean currents help spread the sun's energy that is absorbed by moving the energy all around the world. This flow of energy affects the lag of daylight hours. Daylight hours change due to causes such as ocean currents. So as you can see, ocean currents play a huge role in this world. They are very important and without them, the ocean wouldn't be able to cool down, which would increase the speed of global warming.